James Mullen is James the Wine Guy. Stay tuned for a review of this beautiful Sonoma Coast Pinot Noir. So what we have here, and first of all, I am at VidCon, and I'm in a different setting, and I just really want to explain that. So I'm here, part of the community VidCon uh, pass here, and I just want to explain that because um, it looks like a hotel room, and that's because it is. I don't want anybody to think this is actually like where I, I live, um, but I wanted to give a, an explanation and why I'm doing this video because I can't take this back with me to San Francisco because it's open, and uh, no better time to do a video than now. So on this uh, particular hangout today was with uh, Bryce Jones, Emeritus's founder, and he was also a founder and previous owner of Sonoma Couture. Mari Jones was also on this uh, hangout, and uh, she's a daughter of Bryce Jones. And uh, so here we have another Emeritus wine. I have reviewed the Hallberg Ranch, and I'll put that video right here. And uh, for me, two completely different Pinot Noir and uh, quite appreciable I might add. So here we go with the proper introduction of this wine. This is Emeritus and uh, look at this beautiful package, uh, gorgeous screen packaging, simple and gorgeous and you know I'm so attracted to the simpler the better uh, for me at least in, in terms of my uh, design sensibilities. So uh, this is uh, Emeritus, this is a vintage 2011 and uh, this is from the William Wesley uh, Vineyard site in Sonoma Coast. 14% uh, ABV, and uh, I don't know the clonal signature on this, but it is a fantastically beautiful wine, and something that's quite uh, uniquely different from its uh, brethren from the Hallberg Ranch in RRV, Russian River Valley. So for me, my goal is to really seek out these wines and to taste wines of uh, point of difference and also giving that regional characterization. So here, Sonoma Coast, it's completely different from the Russian River Valley wine. And I did note in the RRV review, uh, the Hallberg Ranch wine, is that it just didn't even taste like a uh, RRV wine in, in, in a, a very amazing, alluring way that I thought uh, this is impossible. And uh, so here we go with the scent characterization, flavor profile, and the point score. Let me. So I had to bring this glass because uh, you know I couldn't stand a uh, hotel room glass. So pour enough on this wine so you can really swirl it around and uh, let the aromatics really. So on this, I'm getting some beautiful characterization of black plum, black cherry, eucalyptus, pomegranate some um, pine nut, uh, rose garden, and afternoon heat. So, fantastic wine. So here we go next with the flavor characterization and then the point score. Mm. Gorgeous wine. Beautiful notes of black cherry, tayberry, red pepper, tea, pine nut, bay leaf, and chili guajillo. It gives a 9.4 out of my 10.0 scale. Now, uh, definitely, if you get a chance to, uh, I'll put the uh, website of the producer down below here. Uh, seek them out. Uh, seek their wines out. Uh, pay a visit. I have yet to visit, but I will. And um, I think it really shows that, uh, you know, that Bryce has that uh, provenance of experience, and it goes into each and every bottle. For me, it's a privilege to taste. I'm glad to do this video, even if it's in my uh, less than ideal setting. But uh, I didn't want to let this, uh, this memory elapse without doing a video. So thank you so much for watching.